Okay, plant primary metabolites. Now, this is where that gets into the important part for you guys to understand, is the first thing a plant does when it grows is it produces sugar, okay? And so you got a plant, you got big old sunshine up here, big happy sunshine all the time, and I got a plant down here who's got all of his leaves coming out, and it's picking up all these beautiful photon rays, and it's taking this sun energy, and it's taking oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen, and it's making sugars. Okay, so the very first thing it does is put carbohydrates together. Then when it comes back and we start adding nitrogen and sulfur to the equation, we start getting proteins. And then if we've got enough energy, we can bring in some phosphate and we can start producing fats and oils. Okay, so this is what plants are putting together. All right, and all of this, all of these things right here have to go through enzymes so that they can now be reconstructed and recombined into all these different compounds. And so if I don't have a trace element, my enzymes don't put this together. So the cool thing is, is enzymes run every living function in every living organism. You can't breathe, you can't move a muscle, you can't blink, you can't process a thought without it being driven by an enzyme, period. There are no exceptions to this. Contrary to popular belief, beer does not create enzymes. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> there are substances void of enzymes out there, okay? So, what we're looking at is we really want to support the enzyme function. Now, we make enzymes, microbes produce enzymes. Okay, that's why we want microbes in our system, is so that they aid in our enzyme production because that's how everything works. It's the fuel in the tractor scenario, okay? Enzymes are activated by our minerals and our vitamins. If they're missing, these systems stay dormant. No different in the gut than it is in the soil, okay? <clears throat> enzymes are destroyed by pathogens and toxins, okay? Enzymes, everything is driven by them. They're putting things together. They're taking things apart. They speed up these reactions. Again, we talked about our trace elements, manganese, iron, copper, all of these things are the minerals that activate our enzymes. So are our organic vitamins, our, our fat, water-soluble vitamins, Without these activators, our enzymes are dormant. So you can go through and do all these lists. You can find the enzyme here, and then you can read about everything that it's doing in the cell, okay? Plant, humans, pick up this one, nitrate reductase. Okay, this is, now we're starting to convert our nitrogen into different compounds, okay? This one takes atmospheric nitrogen, N2, and puts it into a form that our plants can use, like our legumes, okay? So again, nickel, when, when we, let me go back here, okay? Manganese runs these enzymes that do these functions. Now, I just grabbed a few examples of this. I've got roughly 50 pages of mineral enzyme function. So you can trace all this stuff back if you have enough time. I just wanted to show you how this stuff looks. Molybdenum. Molybdenum is the trace element that runs a lot of your nitrogen altering enzymes that get my NP or my nitrogen on this side to my protein on this side. Nitrates will kill things, they're toxic. Proteins won't. So I've got to have this stuff converted. Nickel, 
by urease enzyme, superoxide dismutase. This is how your poultry or your plant largely detoxifies itself. These types of enzymes stop all, the, all different types of damages in the cells. Zinc runs over 300 enzymes. I'm producing my indole acetic acid right here, my carbonic anhydrolase right here, protects proteins from denaturing from CO2 reaction and photosynthesis carbon fixation. That's really cool. I mean, you guys can go home and really, really teach your kids something tonight. Okay? But this is how it works. I mean, this is all these functions that are going on inside these plants. Your coenzyme here, vitamin B1. Look at the stuff that it's doing in here. Assist in energy metabolism. Okay? Down in here. Occurs universally in all living organisms. Biochemical oxidation and reduction. This is putting things together, taking things apart. I've got to have vitamin B2. Well, if I can't, don't have cobalt, I'm not making any B vitamins. And all of this shuts down. Doesn't happen.